Emotional intelligence is not just something that is nice to have. You, like me, may have heard of intelligent, creative and very skilled people who started a leadership position only to find themselves struggling to deal with certain aspects of the job, like communicating and leading effectively, managing change without being flustered or engulfed in emotional hijacks and motivating other people to commit to the mission of the organization. Think of situations where unresourceful behavior was displayed or passive aggressive comments offered when operational changes were announced. Or maybe you've witnessed an employee become so distressed, lose all control and affect the mood of others around because of a small shift in their responsibilities. The need for safety, stability and control is a basic and core need as pointed out in Maslow's hierarchy of human needs. The human brain is wired to do everything by all means possible to keep us safe even if the reactions are many times blown out of proportion when we consider what we are responding to more often than not the lizard is just a lizard and not a dinosaur but the brain does not distinguish between real danger or a normal situation that is simply calling for our undivided attention this means that independent of the level one occupies within a company or business, if for any reason you feel unsafe, you will find yourself doing whatever it takes to restore the status quo to release the disease. The trouble starts when this is done from a reactive space. What is worth noting here is that when it comes to dealing with change and our basic human need for safety, our emotions, because our emotions originate from the primitive parts of the brain, they can engulf higher functions like reasoning and decision making. So if we operate from a triggered brain that only activates our fight, free flight responses, we get into trouble and we are emotional beings. We are driven by how we interpret what we feel. Think about the outcome of your actions, those of team members, and what that means for a company when decision-making, strategizing, and managing the most important asset of a company, the people, can be affected if approaching change is only driven by fear and distress, which is not managed well. Being emotionally aware, having emotional intelligence is not just something that is nice to have. Rather, it is considered today to be a capability which efficient leaders should work on and have as they weigh so much more in importance than having only cognitive abilities. So what is emotional intelligence? It is the ability to identify and control your emotions while knowing the effect your behavior has on others. It is a mixture of awareness which focuses on observing reactions and responses and management, which involves making conscious decisions. Operating from a triggered emotional space is a sure way of getting off track, long term, and even with disastrous outcomes if left on court. When it comes to achieving goals, being productive, performing at high levels, and communicating with intention and for positive results. Given that change and upgrading are part of our lives as humans, by developing your emotional intelligence, you can access the higher functions of the brain even when overwhelmed. And the good news is neuroscience provides us with empowering information about our brains, thus putting us in the driver's seat as we carry out tasks, make decisions, manage our businesses and relate with others. We now know that with the right strategies, you and your team can embrace change using emotional intelligence to manage and avoid the knee-jerk responses that get in the way of dealing resourcefully with the demands of work and life. As a leader, it's essential you adopt an active role in the changes that affect you and your team, starting with yourself. With your support and guidance, you can then encourage your team members to embrace change through emotional intelligence strategies. My questions. How are you ensuring that your team is agile and future-proof? Do you have strategies in place that allow space for courageous communication and a mind for forward planning in order to build the resilience needed to accept change? Do share here in the comments or if there is a need you have personally in your teams or organizations, reach out to me directly in a message so we can discuss making emotional intelligent capabilities commonplace in your space and the key to achieving your goals with ease. Thank you.